Hey everyone, it's Jason and Mishimoto. I'm standing next to our 2015 EcoBoost Mustang and as you see the front nose cone is pulled off, uh, a few other things are pulled off. We uh, just finished developing our direct fit oil cooler for the uh, EcoBoost and we're using like a 19 row oil cooler, uh, direct fit lines, direct fit brackets. Um, as you see right here, we have the uh, oil cooler mounted to the car. Um, it's gonna use three brackets that mount to the, uh, the front radiator support and uh, crash bar. And it's gonna be a pretty good kit. We saw really good uh, temp decreases when we went out and tested it. Uh, stock, it was running about 210 to 220 degrees during steady state cruising. But uh, with our non-thermostatic sandwich plates and oil lines on it and our 19 row oil cooler, we saw constant temp decreases. It was decreasing down to the point of 170 degrees or so on the road. <clears throat> now ideally, this is a little bit too cold for your oil. We'll have a thermostatic uh, oil cooler kit for you streetcar drivers that'll keep the oil right between 180 to 200 degrees at the absolute most. Um, but for, for you serious track people, the uh, non-thermostatic will uh, cool it down pretty much as cool as you want to go. Um, we recommend non-thermostatic for, uh, for track cars, something that's not going to see the street very often. We have our prototype uh, oil cooler kit mounted on the EcoBoost Mustang. You see how we have the uh, 19 row oil cooler mounted right in the middle where it gets the most amount of airflow. Um, got two of the brackets on already and this bottom bracket's gonna connect it to the front crash bar down here. And uh, right here we have our, our oil lines that we made up for it. So those will be included with the kit. All right, we're underneath our uh, EcoBoost Mustang and you can see the uh, back of the engine and the transmission. And what I'm showing you is where the oil filter is located. It's in the back of the engine. It's very easy to get to for your DIY person. Um, we have part of our oil cooler already installed on it for testing. And you see the uh, both in and out lines coming out of our sandwich plate going to the front of the car. Uh, there's plenty of room underneath the subframe to route the oil lines for our oil cooler kit. Uh, I've looked at it, our install is gonna be pretty easy. Uh, if you've put an oil cooler kit on before, it's gonna be pretty easy to do. Um, there's a lot of space, a lot of room underneath this engine. Unlike the five liter V8s that we saw with our uh, 11 to 14 oil cooler kit, this is actually a three quarter 16 um, oil filter fitting. So it's a little bit different. It's actually not metric. Um, everything else in this car is metric, but the oil filter, um, we kind of found that surprising. So for a world car, it takes a standard oil filter. All right, so thanks for following our oil cooler development. It's gonna be a really awesome kit. You guys are really gonna like it, uh, especially if you're gonna start tracking your car. Uh, the EcoBoost is a really good platform with the, uh, the lighter weight up front. It'll make a pretty good track or even an autocross car given its size. Uh, so stay tuned, we have a lot more product development, a lot more cool products to develop for this, including a new radiator and intercooler, and a few other little things to go over. Uh, so we're gonna do a few more videos of our new products that we're developing, so stay tuned.